Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy X. Today, well, we're in Rin's traveling scene. I think we've already talked to everyone. This might be the last. Don't lie like that. I've heard that the proprietor, Mr. Rin, is right. You, I, I yelled at you last time. All right, I think all we have to do is actually exit down here. We have the pretty much the L bed smear that we had at the beginning of the game. Just in case you've changed your mind, I have not. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's a tutorial screen. Huh. Interesting. You know, I actually don't think I've ever really used that. Can I? I can buy stuff from you, right? Yeah, I think we looked at all this stuff last time, maybe. Yeah, and it was trash. Just utter, utter trash. Uh, also, in between episodes, I kind of noticed uh, that my Steam achievements haven't been working at all throughout the entirety of the Let's Play, except for, like, the one time I got... And I'll bed primer off camera. Why, Kronos? Why? Well, because this game has some technical issues for whatever reason, I had to go into like compatibility mode and run it the EXE as administrator, and that disables achievements. I didn't know that, but apparently that's the case. Woe is me. Good thing I'm not like an achievement hunter, right? I don't really care too much about achievements, though I did notice how kind of lackluster the achievements have been. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to get one for a jack shot and the Blitzball tournament, and we just never did. Yep, that is a sunset. That sunset was different from the one I saw in Kilika. Less death. It was quiet, almost gentle. And no death. Walker, what are you doing? What you up to? <laughs> Ooh, what you hiding? Pretty. Sure is. Man, you missed a prime opportunity to just be like, you are. I wish I could live in a place like this. Peaceful. Living with a smile on my face every day. No, well, let's abandon being in Summoner and just stay you here. Can, once you beat Sin, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Or that. But then, a new sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. Hmm. I wish I could. Hey, you can. Trust me. You are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does sin always come back? Sin is our punishment for our vanity. What exactly? And it will I mean. not go away <laughs> until we've atoned. How? How do we do that? Yeah. What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah. An existing. Was it using lots of machina or something? Oh. Wait. Was that such a bad thing, really? No, says the person with a microphone and computer in front of him. It's funny. Hmm. Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not... Why would you never question that? I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Uh, we're a little different. Oh, such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. See, your brain's broken, hers isn't. Sound like Micah? Very nice, you know. Yeah, that is kind of mean, actually. <laughs> it's been like two minutes, Titus. You don't have to yawn just because you don't want to talk to her anymore. You know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mm. Ah. You can't think that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. And you can't be thinking about where you're going to go on that date because the minute you do, that's when you lose. Huh. What a weird analogy to use uh, to you Yuna. Know, what I mean is, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. Also, weren't you going to pose the two girls during the game at the beginning of the uh, the, the game? Like the first Blitzball game you played? Look, in the Yuna, 
Yeah, you're going to like do to opposed to them. Big like that. You're a hypocrite. I'm summoning. It's the only way to defeat sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. At the world's edge in Xanarkand. Coincidence. In Xanarkand? Uh, I feel like... There's a lot of stuff they should have filled in Titus. Destroyed a thousand years ago. Like, like straight up, that should have been told. He should have probably been told what a final summon is. Maybe what happens with the pilgrim sure and all that ruins? jazz. That's what I've heard. I guess it's not much of a story you or game if we yourself. don't be left in the Soon dark enough. a little bit. Yuna, come back inside. Why? I don't want you catching stupid from this boy. You will go with us to Xanarkand? I don't have much of a choice. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go to Xanarkand to see it with my own eyes. I do like how his, his tone shifts there to like kind of like a sad, determined, depressed person. It's like, I gotta do this. Like, I have to see this, because if I don't... It's just gonna eat at me forever. There is a goddamn fly in my room, and it is annoying the hell out of me. Where did you come from? I knew. It couldn't Don't be my say Zanarkin, freaking lava, because that's not true. I had to make sure. I mean, it might be. There's lava, not lava. I guess more of a maggot, but there better not be any maggots in my house. Just one fly. Probably came in from the back yard when I let the dogs out. Uh, what do you say, dog? Okay. Hey, why did you wake up early for nothing? You're gone, you right? I think this will help. Obtain level one key sphere. Thank you. We've already had one of those. No. Screw up. We already know what these these unlock level one keys no thingies. We already had one. We've used one. Yo, dog. What up? No. Hey, girl. What up? Okay. I guess we have, what, another one of those key spheres down then, right? Yeah, we have one more. We're about to get a few more, I think. Oh, yeah, the rename card we can... That I won. Oh, man, I could have got, like, a... Return sphere. Actually, you know, you can play the Blitzball games here. But I don't have a full team, so I can't even show you that. My bad. Hey, do you want to be on my team? Is it you? Yeah, you, you. You want to join my team? Sure, you can... Three games, why not? You're actually pretty good, if I remember correctly. Can I go to the Blitzball thing now? Yes. So, if you want, you can pretty much do these games and get, like, teleport spheres really early and, uh, like, return spheres. And you can, like, teleport around to different nodes. Uh, teleport spheres allow you to go to, like, an already activated allies uh, node, or just, in general, an uh, already activated node. Uh, return spheres allows you to return to any node that you've activated. So it's very, very useful to do. Do I want to save? This next part's not exactly hard, but it's not exactly easy, 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 yeah, easy either. You can mess it up. Ah, forgive me, sir. You are forgiven, sir. I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in El bed. Don't say that to Walker. He'll flip his shit. Mm-hmm. I am Rin. Owner of this establishment. Hello, Dusadwi. Huh? It means nice to meet you. Oh, well, ah, hello, Dusadwi, well, to you too. Uh, Helly, do sad we to you oh, too. Man, mine was better, Titus, mm. and I'm dumb. If you are interested, L bed primers can be found all over Spear. Pretty sure I already found like nine of them. Finding them and learning our language Maybe might ten. be fun. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Dope. Although you might want to be careful where you speak our language. Yeah, because people are race. Oh, okay. I guess I've only found eight so far. Yeah, I hear I'll bet aren't liked much. Oh. Oh. Tact. You don't have any. <sighs> A decky Krisa. I don't know what that means, but something to the chase. I will always help the chocobos. That's our cue. Let's go. All right. Huh? 
We're gonna go save the oh, chocobos. Thank you for your help. Please use this. What do you mean, ha? Huh? That's why we're here. Huh? Well, actually, no. No, that's not why we're here. We you, we wanted the rest, and it is a ferocious you actually just said at the beginning of the air that why don't we help the chocobos? I mean, I guess that's not why we're here for, huh? I don't want to buy anything. I just wanted more stuff. <laughs> I'm going to go take a nap, Warren, while you guys deal with this. Uh, anything that I want to do? Sure, let's go ahead and get Titus in here. And Waka. So that will help, because this thing, I think, is... Successful to darkness. It's kind of a gimmick fight, too. To it can be. Corral. <laughs> okay, isn't it right next door? You just gotta go around the corner? But yeah, this fight's kind of a gimmick fight. Oh, we actually... Huh. Interesting. But yeah, it's a gimmick fight. Uh, there's three different ways you can beat it. One of it is just killing them out of that poor Chocobo. You let it go, you dick. Use Choco Kick. There you go. You got Choco Peck. Yeah, you can kill it straight out. It has 10,000 HP. You can overkill it by causing 800 damage. Uh, the other thing... I'm going to pause, actually. Can I pause? No, I don't need the pause. That's right. It's turn-based. Uh, the other one is you can push it off the cliff behind it. Uh, and you'll, you won't get, you won't be able to get the overkill bonus for the AP, but you'll get additional items. The third one is you can put, he, this thing can push you off the cliff behind it. It's not technically winning, it's losing, but you don't actually get anything for it, I think, at all, actually. Yeah, anyways, this thing's weak to fire, and I'm gonna cast haste on Titus. Then haste on Lulu. I do want to get the darkness attack because I'm pretty yeah here. So something the darkness. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast fire on you. That's some good damage. Let's go ahead and yeah, cast haste on the enemy because that would help. Uh, haste on Lulu. I do want to use focus on her. Oh, you're gonna push me back, huh? See, this is the problem here. I'm not doing enough what damage now? to it. We got a cliff at our back. I know. So black magic. Dope. You come out. Kamari. Attack it with black magic. Good job. Now hit it hard and we can push it back. That's the plan. And I guess I'll just hit you once. When it's on its back, it doesn't have its heavy defense. So you can use just Titus. I do want to get haste on Kamari as well. And then pretty much I'm going to swap out uh, Titus for the other party members so everyone can get some bonus XP. Uh, Walker, you are did your turn. Orn, come on in. <laughs> We're near the edge of the cliff where it already. We don't need to overkill it. If you push it off the edge, you get additional items, which is uh, additional like, level one lock spheres too, or lock keys or key, whatever the hell they're called. Um, I do need to get Yuna in here, don't I? I think I do. All right, Yuna, come in here and poke it with your rod. <laughs> ah, sexy. Oh, <laughs> he casts Blizzard on your back. That's amazing. No, I don't think I ever knew that before. I should have tried uh, Fire Breath or Flare... Uh, fire, fire... Yeah, Fire Breath, not Flamethrower. Keep mixing that up with... Uh, freaking... Actually, yeah, let's do that. Bronzo Rage. Not self Truck. Fire Breath. I keep thinking of, like, Final Fantasy VII's... Um, flamethrower. Is there anything else I want to do? I mean, I guess I could just... Orin. I might have just called you Aeon. Which would have been bad. Look, not bad, but stupid. There we go. I actually came close to killing it, I think.
But yeah, we don't get the Overdrive X EXP for it, or AP from it. But we do get additional items, which is nice. And some levels. Get two and a blue armlet. I don't know what that does. Have you an interest in renting some chocobos? How about owning a chocobo? As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. That's it. The first Please time. Ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Should be a lifetime. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. No problem. All right, let's see what we got for levels. Kamari, yeah, you got some more MP coming your way, dog. Who else was it? Uh, Waka, you got HP. Well, that's kind of good. I really got to start using extractability. How far are we? We're fairly far. Those are some really good spells, too. But yeah, we're fairly far away from that. Um, we go stay at the the safe. Well, I might as well save again. Uh, from here, you can get a chocobo and avoid random encounters. There actually, I don't think there's any more new random encounters on the road, at least in this area. There might be one or two new ones on the lower bottom one, but I don't think that's true. Yeah, I think I'm going to rent the Chocobo here. We're doing fairly good on everything. We're kind of strong right now. Aside from that one little mix-up with the, the Chocobo Eater where I just acted too slowly for some damage output. Um, we're doing pretty good. I don't think we need anything. So yeah, we should be good with, uh, Hello? No charge with this getting time. the Chocobo. Sure, let me ride one, baby. Oh, Elmer, you're here. Probably should have talked to you. I think I can still talk to you. I'm digging the music. Elma! Hey! Summoners and guardians, I saw the fight. I was impressed. You should have joined in! You coward! Right now we're charged with getting people off the high road. But you, well, you have a summoner, so you can stay. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's not the fact that we're beating the crap out of everything. Yeah, while on a chocobo, you, well, move faster, of course, but you also don't get into any random encounters, which is kind of dope. Especially when you don't want to, uh, fight anything right now. There was not a feather. All right. If you see a feather on the ground, that means your chocobo can do something special there. And by special, I mean, well, jump. Slowly, apparently. We're going to be going up there. Now, each location with a feather is going to have some treasures. Here we have a Heat Lance, which it's all right. It's a Fire Elemental Kamari weapon, which we don't really need for him anymore because he is, well, a Black Mage. That's that there. There is the, this, uh, Albed Primer number nine. E to I, I, which always confuses me in general. Hello. Thank you <clears> so much for your words yesterday. I mean, I hate you, so I don't know what you're saying. A safe journey to you. You got nothing else to say? A safe journey. Really? Thank you so much for your. Huh. Okay. One, one second. Let me just check something. Hmm. Would you like yes, to hear absolutely. About the high road. Oh, mm. god damn it! No, come back. Please don't tell me. Mm. Yeah. Would okay. you like to hear about the high road? Yes, give me all the lore you can. We are currently traveling a part of the Mehan High Road called the New Road. Naturally, that suggests that there is or was an old road. Yeah, it's the road down there. The road that runs below this new road is the original Meehan High Road. I just said that. Hence, the road that Lord Meehan walked is not this road, but the old road. So what you're saying is you're all a bunch of liars. The new road was built to replace the old road destroyed by sin 500 years ago. Oh, well, yeah, he can fly, so I was going to say how he could get up here. Road and reminiscing about the past can be a pleasurable pastime. Anything else? 
the new road was built to replace the old road destroyed by the answer is no but sometimes standing on Actually, i think in uh final fantasy 10 2 about me now all the crusaders are ignoring me like you're not supposed to be interrupting him or anything like that me. now all the crusaders are ignoring me I mean, it's understandable because you keep like trying to push your agenda on them like, I'm sure you have the best intentions, but sometimes best intentions can be just wrong. Give me this. That open. Thank you for the high potions. All right, you, you go do your cleaning, I guess, you children soldiers. Gee, Captain Lucille and Elma should have been here by now. No, maybe they're dead. It's taking Elma so long. She's hanging out at the Chocobo farm. Gee. Captain. Why don't you go look for him then? That's the chocobo dealer. Down here is the old road, which will come down and get some more treasure. Um, just keep an eye out for the feathers, because they're kind of hard to see. There. Like, I, I was looking for it, and I still missed it a little bit. So, first one is Thunderblade, which could come in handy. I think that's Orin's. Second one is a scout, which I think is also Thunder Elemental or Waka. Yeah, it is. Uh, how about you, Orin? Is this one just straight up better? Ah, no. I mean, it can be if the enemy's weak to lightning, but pure strength is my cup of tea right now. Hey, Lucille. What are you doing on this road? Oh, you know. I see. The high road ends over there. However, we have sealed off the area beyond for the duration of our operation here. You may ask the gate captain up ahead if you need to pass through. What are you doing down here? Actually, no, no matter what I'm doing, what, what are you doing? The end of the high road in order to get back on the new road. Okay, but like straight up, what are you doing down here? You must first go to the end. You're just playing with the chocobos? I mean, I can dig that. I want to play with the chocobos. They look cute. Fuzzy. I don't think there's anything over here that we can do. No. No, there's not. All right, well, that's a shame. There's a chocobo feather there. We get a fortune spear. That's uh, that's the ones that fill in the luck node, well nodes, luck spheres. We could use them for that luck sphere we have right now, but uh, no. And here we get the Mars crest, which is something for an ultimate later, uh, ultimate later, ultimate weapon later in the game. So let's not worry about it too much right now. We're going on health, right? Yeah. Hey, Waka. Coming down to the old road was a mistake. Yes. Yes, it was. Run a business with no customers. This is true. So, can I interest you in something? Hey, maybe. Uh, what you got? Absolutely nothing. Sure, uh, not a cruise. Could give him some more money, but uh, I can wait till later. I mean, I could afford it. I could just give him that. Uh, I might need that money, though. Money can be important later on. I think all we gotta do to get rid of this chocobo is talk to this lady over here. Hey y'all. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Do you not take my chocobo back? Okay, fine. I'll just dismount the chocobo. Just here, I gave him back to you. There you go. How many times do I have to tell you I'm a summoner? Just because Sorry, I don't have pants on doesn't no mean I'm not a summoner. You dare impede a summoner's pilgrimage? I think they're impeding. Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. Useless. I mean, he's doing a good job, like, preventing you from getting through. Oh, it's you. Hi! As you can see, not even summoners can pass. But they'll call on us in the end. Just wait and see. In the meantime, I think I'll have a nap. Oh, Bartello. Bow chicka wow wow. Bow chicka wow wow. 
Hi. The Mushroom Rock Road is off limits to non crusader what a personnel weird name. until the end of the mission. By whose authority? Well, I know, I guess, but reporting. they're not really telling you who, this is the last of them. at the moment, has given them the authority to close off the entire through. road. Show me how to play Blitz sometime. No! Wait around. We'll have Sin beaten in no time. So if we go forward, I don't think we can actually get by them, but if we talk to this dude... Any donation toward Operation Meehan would be greatly appreciated. You get the option to donate some money. Uh, if you donate 10,000 gil, uh, you waste 10,000 gil and you get like a moon ring, which is completely useless. If you donate 10,000, you get... I think a blitz ball? I don't know what you get for a hundred. Just go with a thousand dollar one. Do not donate ten thousand. This is for you. It is just complete. Oh, it's an ice lance. Completely useless and just not good at all. Hi, can I come through? Hey, you're a summoner and our guardians, right? Yeah. Sorry for the inconvenience. No, you're not. Uh, tell them about the operation. What? They didn't tell you? No. We're bringing Sin Spawn from Oliver Spira here. Sin spawn inevitably draws sin, right? That's what I've been told. We're going to lure it into a trap. Oh. This mission, Operation Meehan, is a Crusader Albed joint mission. Oh, don't tell Waka. We Crusaders lure sin in, and the Albed strike it down. You see, Albed hates sin as much as we do. I'd imagine... So, I imagine everyone hates sin equally. They managed to salvage ancient Machina. They say they're as powerful as the mighty Aeons. Maybe. Well, you know, Machina are forbidden by Yevon. Uh, on second thought, let's not go there. Better for you not to know. Just tell me! The Crusaders and Operation Meehan have all been excommunicated. Dope. My own family won't even speak to me now. Hmm, sounds like a shit family. I'm sorry, I can't let you pass. Alright, I just wanted to talk to that NPC you over there. Beat Otherwise... There's nowhere for us to go. You can live in this... The, I'm pretty sure you could probably rebel against Yevon, too, but at the same time, like, you're good. You have the ways to defend yourself. It's fine. You don't have to fight Sin for these schmucks. Though, I understand why you would want to. It's a giant monster attacking the world equally and just causing havoc everywhere. So, we meet again, Lady Yuna. I yes You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? Put on a shirt? Well... I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold, I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. I like your dragon... hats. Yeah, but, the dragons. But, Maester Seymour... Maester Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Well, that's good. Very well, they may pass. It is done. Whoa. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. I mean, I'm not going to call you Your Grace, but thank you. Yuna, it's time to go. Yeah, stop bowing. Oh, right. Who does he think he is? I don't know, Maester. He's a Maester. Better get used to it, yeah? Hmm. Aw. Jealous already? That's healthy. Alright, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below if you're not subscribed yet. When you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.